you guys so I'm back I know I've been away for a little bit I've been um, really studying I've had a lot of tests in school and trying to focus on that and you know of course with my family and everything as well so I do have the battle of the $10 boxes so that is really nice and I'm excited to share that with you guys so I have the Sephora play box the Ipsy and birch box so let's go ahead and check those things out they're all ten dollars a month so you can kind of compare them and see how you know which box you would like if you wanted to look into a ten dollar subscription I'll have all the links down below to um, sign up if you're interested I get points for Ipsy and birch box Sephora I don't think they give anything I think you just sign up so let's check out Birchbox first because it does seem kind of empty. However, that doesn't mean that it's no good because, you know, that's happened in the past and it was very good. So, But I have a feeling that that's not going to be the case. Anyway, the box is really cute. It's very um, seasonal. I think it's quite cute. And then the card matches the outside of the box and everything is inside. The card is a little bit different. It's a little bit thinner than it normally is. It just says the finishing touch. This month is all about those extras. Just because details that make, just because details that make all the difference. This month is all about those extras. Just because details that make all the difference. That doesn't even make sense. Who read the card? Am I reading it wrong? This month is all about those extras. Just because details that make all the difference. I think it's supposed to say details make all the difference, not details that make all the difference. Whatever. It's cute though. It's actually like little mascara wand and some eyebrow pencils, lips like on the card. Oh, it's the same for on the box. The very fine details. Hmm. All right, anyway. Did you see my face? <laughs> okay, let me just kind of show you the box, shall I? I know what I chose as soon as I see this box. Okay, there's um, five items in the box. One is a fragrance, which I personally think that any fragrance in a little tiny sample thrown in a box should be an extra. Should not be included as part of the samples of the box. So that's just my opinion because you can get them anywhere um, for free. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go in here with the Marcel Lumi Power New Age 3-in-1 Day-Night Eyes. Um, I guess it's just an eye cream it says <clears throat> use this multi-action formula to fight the signs of aging protect skin and environmental stressors and get a radiant glow use as a day cream night cream or eye cream okay I mean that's what I do with every cream anyway day cream night cream. well not necessarily night cream because sometimes they're really really too heavy for for the day and uh, makeup doesn't play well with it Okay, it doesn't really have any scent whatsoever. It is very light. I do like that, so I definitely would use it in the daytime because it's not oily or, or anything. It doesn't have a residue. Next, this is actually what I chose. I have this one. This one is in which color? Um, I think this is, oh, it's the Forever Pink. This is one of those things. I think I bought the full size of this. Yes, I did. I bought the full size because I really like this so, so much. Um, it looks like just a nude colored like kind of lip balm, but it adjusts with your body's pH and it changes into a pink. And actually the more that you apply, the darker pink it goes. So I really do like this. I have it in the pink and the peach. So I, that's why I chose it to have one everywhere. Cause I have it in a purse and I have it in at work. I have, you know, wherever. So I really do like this. So it says this magical color changing stain uses olive and avocado oil to soften and soothe both lips and cheeks. Try it under your favorite lip gloss to add shine and dimension. I would not put it on my cheeks. I don't feel like it's one of those things that you would put on your cheeks. I just, that's just me personally. I think it'll just take off your makeup. So lips, yes, cheeks, no. Okay, next is a little tiny sample in here. This is from Coastal Scents. It says the exclusive sampler includes one blush and one highlighter from the blush and bronzer palette. I think I actually, I actually have the palette and I think I got it from BoxyCharm if I'm not mistaken or, or Glossy Box, one or the other. I got the, it's uh, a thing of four. Let me see, I'm gonna show you. 
I went to go look for it. I don't know where I put it. It's somewhere in the disaster. I'm trying to clean out and organize and get rid of things because I have so many items. So, you know, it's time to purge and that's what I'm working on. Not very successful, I have to say. Anyway, so this is the blush and a highlighter. The blush is nice. The highlighter is, is kind of like, eh, it's kind of okay. But this is a nice little sample to have. Next in here is from Oblifica Seaberry Hair Serum. I love me some hair serum, so I'm all about that and I'm okay with this. And this is a very nice size. Oh, it smells awesome. Oh, it, it smells really, really good actually. I really like that. This is exactly what I expect um, hair to smell like when you come out of the salon. So, oh, it smells so good. I like this. It says on the card, um, this nourishing serum revives damaged, colored, and unmanageable hair without weighing it down. A few drops on wet hair before styling or on dry hair as a finishing touch. So I do like that, and it gives good. Can you see it? I think I see it. I'm not sure. I'm looking at a little tiny viewfinder, so it's hard to see, but. Okay, next is this little perfume sample. It's called La Vanilla. Oh, holy crap. Okay, right, right, right. What is this? Yeah, it's a fragrance. They have it in a, in a deodorant too, which is weird. Let me see. That actually smells really nice. It smells um, very seasonal, like cookies and things like that. It's actually really nice though. So. That is the Birch Box. So Birch Box was, uh, it was just, I mean, I like the hair serum. I absolutely love this. So it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. It's a little bit of items, but very nice items. And this is going to last quite a while. This is going to last me forever. And um, I'm definitely going to use this. So everything I'll use and so glad to go. <clears throat> Let's do Ipsy next. For Ipsy, I have, um, I should have a sample in here, I think, unless I got it last month. I don't know. Let's check it out. <clears throat> yep, I do. I can feel it already. So it's Dirty Little Secret right here. I think because the one, no. Oh, no, I did purchase this one with my Ipsy points. This, if I'm not mistaken, is like a long-lasting lip color. Let's see, what does it say? Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. So um, I did get a red one, and I, I didn't like the color red, but I did like the formula of the lip color. So that is why I decided to get this, and I love the packaging for the Dirty Little Secret. It's just awesome. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there to dry, and we'll see what it looks like in a few. Took a little break, but I'm back. All right, Ipsy bag. It's cute. It's navy blue with gold and with little, what, lipstick, mascara kind of stuff all over it. It's very soft and foamy. So let's see what's inside this bag. Ah, first thing here. This is a little stippling brush. Um, I love that we've been getting these Luxie brushes in so many boxes. It's like I almost have a whole collection of them. Almost, not quite. So this is a nice little stippling brush. Next we have from, how do you say this? Doce? Duce? Doce? I don't know. Anyway, this is a Freematic blush. So it's, oh, it's a pretty color. Um, so it just looks like this. It slides open. Oh, it slides completely off. So you have to kind of be careful not to like, I thought it was just gonna slide open and lock, but it doesn't, it like completely comes right off. So very pretty shade. I love these kind of pale neutral shades. Very nice. Then we have from Adis or Adesi. Um, organic infused nail treatment essentials. Let's see. This is for nail treatment, complete product. Okay, no, no, no. This 
anti-aging nail system cleanses, repairs, and fortifies, primes, and protects the nails and cuticles. What is that, an oil? I'm assuming it would be an oil. I don't know. Oh, no, it's like a polish. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Then we have from Delectable. I actually have a couple full size in vanilla scented. They had them on clearance at um, at Kohl's for a dollar. What? Um, okay, this is the Ultra Nourishing Can Cream and Sweet Mint and Cream. Let's check it out, huh? Oh yeah, it has a seal on them. They always smell really good, these um, lotions, and they have other products too. It smells like chocolate mint chocolate chip is what it smells like i don't know if i like that for skincare but i mean it feels nice but the scent is not my favorite so it doesn't smell like you should be putting it on your skin so a really nice ipsy bag excellent the point one is here oh by the way let me show you the texture of the lip color here okay so here is the color and it's completely dry it doesn't come off. I mean, if I rub really hard, maybe, yeah, it'll crumble. I can kind of feel it if I rub really hard, but it's it's pretty good. It's gonna be there all day long, I think. That's pretty nice. That's from um, Dirty Little Secret. That is the lip color that is right here. So very long lasting, awesome. All right, that is Ipsy. Now moving on to the Sephora Play Box. I gotta cut it open. Okay, so let's pop this bad boy open. Okay, it says, November 2016, Best in Glow. By the way, some people were asking me about last month about the October box. Um, they both said October. I don't know, I didn't get charged twice for the October box, but I did get the two um, play boxes and they were completely different from each other, which was awesome. Not complaining, enjoyed it. All right, so this is the little guide here. You get your 50 extra beauty points. I wish you can get it online, that would be fantastic, but. Okay, so here's everything. I'll just leave it open so I can refer to it as I need it. And this month's bag is a little bit different. This month's bag is actually very light as well. Um, it says glow getters on top of the bag. I really like that these bags are like this and you can kind of, I like, I have hoarded so many things in these little pouches. It's awesome. All right, first thing, this is like super lightweight. Um, this is from Caudalie. This is Vino Source uh, Moisturizing Sorbet. It just says rejuvenating and lightweight. This luscious gel cream hydrates and softens skin while visibly calming redness and congestion. I'm afraid to even put a little bit on because it feels like it's super empty. I know Caudalie, I love their products. I have a couple items on my vanity now and I'm using them and I really like them. This smells very light, almost like a clean soapy scent. So very lightweight. I love the way Caudalie products apply and they absorb into the skin. I really like them a lot. All right, next in here is a scent from Mycin or Mason Mar Margilia. It says, originally by the fireplace, um, fragrance description, burning wood and chestnut. Style description, female and male fra fragrance. So it's both. Let me open this up. Oh, it's a spritzer. I really nice like that it's a spritzer. I just sprayed my fingers. That is so strange. It really smells like burning wood in a fireplace. It's so seasonal. It's like warm and I want to say musk. It smells like burning wood, <laughs> like burning like embers or, you know, like that's so weird. How did they get that in a scent? It's almost like leather and burning wood. I, I don't even know how to say, say that. That's so strange. Anyway, so the bottle is pretty cool. I don't know if I would put this on and I don't know if I want my guy to smell like he's burning wood, but um, it's interesting. I think this is more, I would probably use it like in the house, if you wanted like a very nice, warm, Christmassy, cozy scent, I would spray this around the house, but I definitely wouldn't put it on my body. I just got a little bit on my finger and it's super strong. Cool, interesting, but not for me. All right, next in here is from Sephora. This is a gel gloss, ultra brilliant, ultra shine lip gel. So it's a very bright, bright pink. I don't know what color this is. Let's see, what does it say? 
it's pinup pink um these bright pink colors they're not my favorite i'm probably not even going to open this because maybe i can give it to somebody else that would really want it maybe my niece or maybe put it, pop it in a giveaway or something like that next is from bear laura mercier this is the rose gold caviar stick eye color oh very interesting so it's like this i think it feels like it untwists no it doesn't Okay, so it's just a stick. It almost looks like a highlighting stick is, to be honest, that's what it looks like. That is beautiful. This was a very nice one. I like that. And there's two more things in here. This one's from Cover Effects. This is the Illuminating Primer. I do have this in a full size. I actually won it online on Facebook or something like that. So, and I still have a little bit. It's really nice. It definitely does give a nice glow. It's great to use underneath a mattifying primer. So it's kind of like you have your mattifying primer, but you still have a little bit of a glow. So it's really nice for that. Not that it, it gives you like a disco ball look because it doesn't do that. It's just nice. It has a nice little glow. And last thing in here, oh, from Glam Glow. This is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. I have never seen this and I don't think I've even heard of this one. So purple tube, not familiar with it. I wonder what color it is. It is like a opalescent kind of silvery white color. Glam Glow always surprises me when I open it. I'm like, oh, I wonder what color it is. And um, the Laura Mercier um, shadow stick, it's definitely long lasting because it's kind of set down onto my hand and that thing is not budging at all. So that is pretty cool. So all three boxes, I think were pretty good this month. So from Sephora, this is a little summary. We have this little scent here. This is from, this is called Replica from Mycin Margelia, Margelia, I don't know. Then we have the little Cover FX Illuminating Primer, the Glam Glow Tightening Firming Mud Mask. This Sephora, like a gel gloss. What is it called again? Uh, gel gloss. Okay, good. Uh, this is the Laura, Laura Mercier um, eyelid color, which is really nice, and the Caudalie Moisturizing Sorbet. Excellent. And then from Ipsy, we have the nail treatment, the blush, um, the mascara that's here, the hand cream, the brush, and then this was my extra that I bought with my points. It was 500 points. And that thing is not budging. That is some good lip color. And Birchbox, which looks like the most dinkiest out of all, but not too bad. Um, we have the little vanilla scent. We have this three-in-one from Marcel Day Night and Eye Cream. This one from Jane Iredell. I really love this so much. <clears throat> the blush and bronzer sample. I'm kind of like, eh, okay about it, but you know, it was a nice, nice sample. And then this hair serum, which I really like, and it's going to last quite a long time, and I really like that a lot too, because it was a very nice sample size. So all together, all of them, let's see, which one do I love the most? Um, I don't know, it's a toss up between Ipsy and Sephora. Probably Ipsy this month. I think Ipsy won it out this month. So $10 boxes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that and maybe it helped you make a decision if you're still pondering around thinking what kind of box I want to get. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so very much for watching and I will see you again in another video.